So what vegetable seeds can you sow in February? Now surprisingly there are quite a few, but it will vary depending upon your climate, where you are in the world, what your temperatures are, uh, what your setup is, have you got access to a heated greenhouse or maybe a propagator, or maybe you've got access to cold frames, and also things like uh, keeping an eye on the last frost date as well, because those plants and seeds that you sow, you do want to move them on so that they can be ready at the right time. So there's quite a lot of factors involved in deciding what is able to be planted in February. But in this video, I'm going to give you 12 examples of what I'm going to be sowing in February, just to give you some ideas. And if you do like this video, don't forget to give it the thumbs up. And if you want to subscribe to the channel for future videos on how to sow and grow fruit and veg, and one or two recipe ideas, don't forget to press the subscribe button. Now February is a really interesting time for growers because we've had the Christmas and New Year period and we haven't really grown very much in that period. Uh, and then we get to the New Year and we're very eager to start planting and sowing. And that's fine and that enthusiasm is great. But we also need to be realistic because if we sow too much too soon and we haven't got the ability or the space to put those new plants in when they're ready, or maybe the temperatures aren't quite right so that the last frost date hasn't passed yet, you could end up with sowing lots of plants that are perfectly healthy for the first month or so and you're really excited about them. But then the reality dawns on you, what do I do with all these plants now? Because they're not ready to go outside yet because the temperatures don't warrant it or you haven't got the space. So what I've learned over the years, and it's a big mistake that a lot of growers make, including myself, is I've often planted too much too soon. So what I have done over recent years is been much more realistic about what I am going to sow in February with an eye on how these plants will be able to be moved on in the space that I've got and also the temperatures that I have. So what I'm going to do in this video is just give you examples of 12 varieties of vegetable seeds that I'll be growing, but there are many others as well. You could argue that almost anything will grow in the right environment so you could plant any type of seeds really in February if you've got the right temperature the right light etc but again just be wary of where you are in the world I'm in zone 8a in the UK right in the middle of the UK and my last frost date here is going to be around about the middle of April so therefore I can't really sow too much now because I know that April is quite a few months away and those plants as they grow will need the space when they're ready to go outside and I can't put them outside if there's a risk of frost. There are some vegetables that I'll be showing you today where I'll be planting them in a unheated polyhouse. Um, some of them will go straight outside so there are some varieties that can do that but I suppose the main lesson for planting in February is be realistic because it's really demoralising when you start to produce a lot of plants which initially start to look really good, growing really quickly, starting to germinate, and then the reality dawns on you that actually these are going to struggle because you haven't got the space for them and the temperatures aren't right. Just try and be realistic in what you're growing. Now this time of year there's not an awful lot that can go straight outside. Depending upon ground conditions, if you've got well draining fertile soil then you can still plant outside things like garlic um, and some onion sets as well. And also a really good crop to plant outside in February, and I've done very well with this variety of broad beans, uh, is a variety called Bunyard Exhibition. They're a great variety of broad beans that can go straight outside uh, into the ground as long as the ground isn't frozen or waterlogged. So you can plant them in, you'll plant them probably about 18 to 24 inches uh, apart, probably down to, if you push your uh, finger, your, your index finger into the ground, you want to be planting them up to the depth of your knuckle into the ground and then cover them over with a, with a multi-purpose compost they'll be perfectly fine. I've already got broad beans in my allotment which I planted in November and they're a new variety I'm growing this year called Valenciana so I'm going to have a good supply of broad beans this year. So a good crop to uh, plant in February outside and one of the few you can plant directly outside is broad beans. Now for sowing indoors there's quite a few varieties that you can sow indoors. Some require heat i.e. a propagator or a heating mat and some don't. Now two varieties of brassicas that I'll be planting uh, in February. One is called cabis, which is a variety of cabbage and I grew this last year. Fantastic variety of uh, roundhead um, cabbage, brilliant for stews, coleslaws. 
and all sorts of other types of, uh, of recipes. I did grow that last year and it was brilliant. So that'll be planted inside in February. And the other one is Brussels sprouts. Now these can be planted from February to April indoors. Uh, these will go inside in pods, as will the cabbage. Now these don't require heat, so these will just go in an unheated potting shed in trays and they will slowly germinate, so there's no rush for these. They'll germinate uh, probably about three to four weeks, you'll start to see some germination. You could put them in heat if you wanted to, to increase the temperature, and that will increase the possibility of them germinating quicker. But as I said at the beginning of the video, the, a lot of this is about timing. It's not about trying to sort of rush things so that they germinate. It's trying to get them ready at the right time. I'll choose to germinate them without any heat. And then when they're large enough, I will then transplant them into individual pods, take them to my unheated poly house, and when they're the right size, they'll be ready to plant out probably at the end of April, beginning of May. I suppose linked to the Brussels sprouts and the cabbage, something else that I do like to plant in February as well is cauliflower. You'd have seen this in previous videos. I've been planting this in January as well. This is a variety called All the Year Round, an absolutely fantastic variety of cauliflowers. This can be planted indoors January through to March. And again, so what I've done with uh, cauliflowers over the last few years is just to grow small amounts so that I don't just get a glut of cauliflowers all in one go. So I'll probably um, germinate about a dozen of these. They'll go with the ones that I would have um, sown in January uh, as well. So it gives me a regular supply of cauliflower. So all the year round cauliflower is another fantastic variety of vegetables to grow in February and these won't need any heat either. Just like I explained for the Brussels sprouts and for the cabbage, these will be um, sown in pods in an unheated potting shed. Now something I just have to share with you is celery. This is a variety called Octavius F1 and I grew these for the first time last year. These were unbelievable. If you've not tried this variety of celery before, definitely give it a go. Uh, it'll be planted again indoors. It doesn't need any heat, but remember when you're planting celery, you've got to be patient with these because they are very slow to germinate. And I found that out last year. I thought I'd lost my celery and just left them and they eventually grew. They must have took between six to eight weeks to germinate. Remember they are in an unheated um, potting shed, so that would not help with the rate of the germination. And I wasn't tempted to put them inside a propagator because I didn't want to rush the uh, process. But when these grew, they were fabulous and then they were transplanted into uh, individual pods. And I actually put them inside my poly house in the ground and I had a supply of these for months and months and the flavor of them is intense. So Octavius F1 celery is definitely a good vegetable to sow in February, but remember, be patient with them because they will eventually germinate. Now a lot of you will be thinking, we got all the way through the video talking about what to plant in February, he's not mentioned peppers yet. Well, now I am going to mention peppers. They are good to sow in February, but what I always do with my peppers, I always leave them towards the end of February. Uh, again, only because I'm thinking about what I'm going to do with those mature plants or those plants when they've grown to a certain stage. And I don't really want to plant them too early. There is a tendency with peppers to get them in, get them planted and get them growing. But for me, I've always found that the end of February, even right into actually to the beginning of March sometimes, is a good time to sow your peppers. Um, I'm trying two new varieties um, this year, which I will be sowing towards the end of February. One is called Carolina Reaper. And this is more, I suppose, it's a vanity seed for me, really, because it's the, supposed to be the hottest pepper in the world. And I just want to grow it. I do use peppers and I do grow peppers, but I've never grown this before. Um, so I want to give it um, a go. So that's Carolina Reaper. The other new variety, which is a slightly more milder type of pepper, is one called Gusto Green F1. And both these peppers will need to be planted in exactly the same way. They will need heat. So you're going to be needing really to germinate peppers temperatures of around about 20 to 25 degrees centigrade. That's about 70 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit. So I will be using a propagator. I'll be sowing these in individual pots so that only small, um, just to start them off in the propagator. And they'll probably take about a week and a half to two weeks to germinate, but I will leave them in the propagator 
for a couple of uh, weeks and when they have germinated to a certain size I will take them out and put them in my unheated poly house. Uh, because once they've germinated it's just a case then of keeping them nice and warm. I will keep an eye on the temperature because remember my poly house is unheated so if I think or I look at the news and it, there appears to be a frost or really low temperatures what I'll do is I'll wrap the little seedlings in fleece just to give them a bit of extra protection. But peppers will be slow until the temperature starts to increase and in the UK we're really looking around about sort of end of May at the earliest June before the temperature starts to get to where it needs to be for peppers to start to really grow uh, well. So in February I'll be starting two varieties of new peppers that I've never grown before, Carolina Reaper and Gusto Green F1. Like most people, I like a regular supply of salad leaves and February is a good time to continue to plant things like lettuces, spring onions and all those types of other varieties of salad veg that you might use on a regular basis. So just a few ideas of the type of varieties that I'll be growing um, and these will be planted in pods and then I'm going to grow these on in my poly house. Uh, one is winter density, you would have seen that in previous videos, that's a really nice lettuce. The other lettuce that I'll be growing is a variety called Lola Rossa. That's the really nice red and yellow mixed leaves, curly leaves lettuce, really nice flavour. That can go in now in pods and again these will not need heat, they will just germinate in normal pods in an unheated uh, space and when they're large enough transplant them into wherever they need to be. As I said I've got quite a large poly house so when these get large enough I'll be pricking them out and then putting them into seed trays inside my poly house and growing them on from there and I'm likely to be sowing these now every three to four weeks in small amounts to give me that regular supply. And if you've looked at previous videos you will see how much I like Mizuma this is a variety called Wado and it's like a green mustard leaf. It grows very similar to the way in which lettuce will grow, be planted in the same way, transplanted in the same way and grown on in the poly house. So two varieties of lettuce, Lola Rosso and Winter Density and Mizuma which is a mustard leaf, a variety called Wado. They're all great to plant in February. Now depending upon your ground conditions, something else you could consider planting outside in February is parsnips. Now two varieties, one called Hollow Crown and the other one is a variety called Sabre F1 and these actually are a free packet of seeds that were provided with my last seed order and I did try them last year and they were really good. The thing with parsnips is all about the ground preparation because you want the ground prepared really well um, if you are a dig person, i.e. you're not using the no-dig methods, then clearly you are grappling with lots of stones in the ground, so you need to make sure that your ground is thoroughly dug and remove as many stones as you possibly can. So you want those roots to be uninterrupted as the parsnips start to grow. You could start these indoors, but I never recommend parsnips transplanting them. They never seem to transplant very well, but you could sow them into individual pods with a view to transplanting them once they've germinated. Now parsnips can be very slow to germinate and they do require good weed-free, fertile, free-draining soil. So if you are going to think about putting them in February, you need to have the right ground preparation to do that. You can plant these between February and April so there are there is a good window to plant your parsnips you don't need to rush to do them in February but if you do like parsnips and you have got the right type of ground then possibly give these two types of uh, parsnips a try. Now I've already planted my onion seeds I did that at the beginning of January but there's no reason why you can't continue to sow onion seeds in February. Three varieties I've grown again small amounts but in three different varieties that you could consider trying. Kelsey is one that I'm trying for the first time this year. All the things I've read about this variety are very good and there seems to be a lot of people that have a lot of success with these so I'll be giving those a try. They're currently in the propagator and have just germinated. Another new variety that I've planted is a variety called Exhibition. Again they've already germinated so they will stay in the propagator probably for another week. I'll transfer them to the unheated poly house and then prick them out and leave them in there until they get to a size where I'll probably look to transplant them outside probably towards the end of, uh, of April. 
And one that I have grown on a regular basis and always done quite well is Bedfordshire Champion. I'm sure many of you will be familiar with that variety. So onions are another good vegetable to sow in February. And to finish with, two further salad vegetables that I'll continue to grow in my polyhouse, which I'll plant in February and then do on a regular basis, probably every three to four weeks throughout the spring and into the summer. The first one is a variety of spring onions, which I've not grown before called Elodi. Um, now in the past I've grown variety called what Lisbon which I know a lot of you will be familiar with. Uh, I've also grown a fantastic variety uh, last year called Ramrod which are a fantastic spring onion and I will plant some more uh, of those. But I will be planting these in my polyhouse in pods um, and then um, planting them in little clusters so that I can just harvest them as I need them. That'll be every three to four weeks. And finally again really easy vegetable to grow but something you can start planting again in February is radish. This is a new variety for me called French Breakfast 3. In the past you would have seen I favoured a variety called Scarlet Globe which are really nice but there are quite a lot of uh, radish varieties out there for you to try. So French Breakfast 3 is one that uh, I'll be giving a go. And remember the salad leaves and the salad vegetables are something now that you can continue to start to sow in February and it depends on how much space you've got uh, again try not to over sow so that you end up with a glut that you're never going to be able to use. As I've mentioned throughout the video the ability to be able to sow and grow in February is very dependent upon your own particular climate what your temperatures are what your last frost dates are have you got heating have you got access to cold frames all those types of things are variables that will determine what you can grow and the key thing is, is not to grow too much too soon if you haven't got the capacity to do so because uh, that's a big mistake that vegetable growers make, including myself, in the past. It'd be great to know what you're growing in February, so pop a comment below and let me know what vegetables, what varieties that you're growing, or maybe things that you might be delaying slightly uh, because of the reasons that I've mentioned in the video about capacity and temperature and all those types of things. I really hope you've enjoyed the video, and if you did, don't forget to give it the thumbs up and if you want to subscribe to the channel for future videos on how to sow and grow fruit and veg and one or two recipe ideas, don't forget to press the subscribe button. And I'll see you all on the next video.